Hello everybody, I am DioGenZ. Welcome to my Pokemon Black walkthrough. We are in Driftvale today to get our fifth gym badge from the gym leader, Clay. But hey, what's going on here? Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Gidus of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates. I don't need no thanks to you. Your buddies were trying to steal Pokemon from folks around her. What's this? Seems like there's a misunderstanding. We're just trying to remove Pokemon from wicked people. I may not talk purdy, but I'm a real honest man. So how about you just stop trying to be in a slime ball and talk honestly? Can Gidus accomplish that? Doubt it. Well, I can't tell if you're lying or not, but I reckon you've won this fight. Or, or won this without a fight. Shit. That's how good Gidus is. With bluffs alone, he can get out of anything. Then again, if I was threatened with an entire ginger army waiting in the wing, I don't think I would have responded much differently. Sorry to let Team Plasma go after you tracked them down. See, why don't we cheer ourselves up with the battle? Don't keep me waiting. Well, I'm going to keep... Uh, I was about to say Gidus. I'm going to keep Clay waiting, even though he told me not to. Yep, I'm going to win a flawless victory, but not now. And neither was I, because we needed to heal up. Haha. <laughs> so, lovely editing. Puts us right back where we need to be. At the beginning of the gym! Clay's gym is one of my favorite gyms in the Unova region. It has a very fun puzzle elevator element to take on. And the challengers we'll be taking on today will be sped up so we can get right to the good stuff. Battling yeehaw! That tootin' rootin' Clay. Who owns iceboxes. Which I still think have popsicles in them. Otherwise he wouldn't have been so offended by Team Plasma's entry. I must say though, in the Unova region as opposed to all the others, they the gym leaders seem to be very connected. They seem to visit each other more than uh, the past generations. I don't know, I think that the past generations didn't focus so much on gym leaders having a life, just them being boss type characters for the game. But it's interesting to see them fleshed out a little bit more and have some story built into them. Basically just following us around and the evil team enter name here. It just happens to be Plasma. So for the fighters we have to face here, I recommend using grass type, water types. Uh, you could even go with ground types and be okay. Ice types. You would have more trouble with an ice type Pokemon because many of these, although being ground types, have rock type moves like rock throw or smack down. So if you want to use a freshly caught Vanellite, like I just recently caught, you wouldn't want to take it to this gym just yet. It's probably going to have two week of experience points and you'll have a lot easier time with a strong grass or water Pokemon. And I don't know if you've noticed, but our team has been developing nicely in the type range. It's been a very balanced session that I've been raising these guys in. It's a, it's a bit different than what I'm used to. I'm normally someone who just goes through the game with the strongest Pokemon to get to the end. I mean, I used to be that. I think that my playstyles are just changing overall. But uh, this version of Black, I really put a lot of strategy into it. Our team is well balanced. We have a fire type being Simiseer, Maractus the Cactus for grass, Duat covering the water zone. We got Vanellite for ice. We've also got in the future I plan to add Galventula. So we'll also have an electric slash bug type on the team. So our team is shaping up to be fighting fit for any foe. 
And it's nice to balance the experience points in this gym, too. Trying to keep all my members at a relatively similar level. We already faced him, so... Don't need to talk to him again. Instead, we'll go on this platform. Rise to the top. And then go extremely back down. It's all about ups and downs in this elevator gym. And being able to navigate your way without having to make too many stops back at the Pokemon Center. Unlike the 8th gym, which once you enter, you cannot exit. This gym does allow you to go back to the Pokemon Center, but it's a bit of a hassle in my opinion. Here we go! All the way down! Poke fossils in the wall! Oof. Only to run into a door that wasn't ready for us. Oh boy. That must be a symbol of Clay's mighty crystal mining strength. If that door doesn't open often, that means there haven't been many challengers for him. Think it's about time to see for myself what it is about your skills that made a gym leader like Elsa take such a shine to you. See, look at that. Even his little introduction mentions another gym leader. Interconnectivity! Interconnectivity! A, sl a very simple plot twist. Not even a twist, but <laughs> plot element to add. That's just somewhat recent in the Pokemon genre. Or maybe I haven't been paying attention to the dialogue. Hmm, I don't think the Hoenn bosses said much about each other. I know that your dad was the boss of the fifth gym. And he was mentioned on the news, but other than that, I don't think the gym leaders talk to one another. Excadrill. I'm going to heal up my Duat and stall with Maractus. Excadrill is probably Clay's toughest Pokemon to defeat. He's going to boost his stats first. And if you can, unlike me, try and get a heavy hit out on him right away. My Maractus was just too slow. Uh, but at least it's got full health. So it can, it can embrace any attack. Yep, especially Rock Slide. Yeah! Ooh. See, it's pretty bulky. I recommend maybe using a fighting type here too. Just as a backup. Which is good because we have my girder. Oh crap! Shit! Looks like we're gonna need some muscle! Go for it, girder! You know, I just recently got girder's Pokedex information on the 3DS application. And holy crap, does he look awesome. Out of all the forms in the Timber to Conkledur evolution chain, Girder looks the most pissed off. His eyes are all psychotic and... Oh, I'm gonna smack you with my Girder! It's crazy. Look at this, Bulk ended up. He won't be able to lay a finger on us. And this is why I don't bring my Girder out very often, because he kicks so much ass with Bulk up. But of course, it's only going to work if my foe's attacking me with physical moves. If we were being hit with special attacks like Psychic, Girder would be pretty boned. Oh, look at that. Ridiculous level gaining all over the place. And since we have our bulked up, powered up Gul Girder, I was going to say Golder, <laughs> we might as well take advantage of his power. See, I didn't even need to heal my Duat. That's why you don't piss off Girder. Well, I've had enough. And just so you know, I didn't go easy on you. Yep, that Excadrill probably proved it. <laughs> so with a bit of wits and the right type advantages, you can also master through clay. It's pretty simple to do. And if you take many lumps on the nose, that being you lose plenty of times against him, don't worry and just 
attach an experience share to your Pokemon to get them some extra points before getting the final battle. That's how I like to think of it. If you can't beat the boss, try, try again. Because in Pokemon, it just gives you more experience. Which in turn makes you stronger until you eventually reach some level where you can kick his ass. And now he wants us to meet at the end of Route 6 by Charge Stone Cave. So it looks like that's where we're headed next, guys. In the next episode of my Pokemon Black walkthrough, we'll be traversing Route 6 where there are some crazy seasonal science experiments going on. Be sure to tune in.